everyone, this is Miss Janelle with another video for Art Explorers. Today we are going to talk about some printmaking methods. One of them being an etching method and the other one is going to be mono print. So for the first method we're going to talk a little bit about etching. This is going to be a dry point printmaking with an old DVD or CD. And what dry point refers to, um, usually with etching methods, you use chemicals to kind of etch into a piece of metal. So with dry point, instead of using chemicals, what we use is a sharp point. What we have in our kit is going to be a safety pin, but there are special metal tools that have pointed edges that you can scratch into a piece of metal. So for this one, for the dry point method, I used a safety pin. The harder you scratch into, the more color or ink it will hold. So if you want something to be light, you can scratch really lightly. If you want it to be really dark, you can scratch it deeper and it'll hold a lot more ink. So for mine, I did a series of plants and grass on mine, as you can see. So after you have made your design and scratched it into your plate, um, you can use a pencil to kind of sketch it on here if you need a little help. We're going to take some tempera paint, or if you have acrylic paint, that will work too. And you're going to just use a very, very small amount. And what we're going to do, and I have this little sponge brush, we're going to put the paint. This would also be used... Um, with ink a lot of times for etching because oil-based inks hold a little bit better on the metal plates, especially if you're doing the method where you use chemicals to etch the plate. So what we do is we put the paint all over and you'll start to see the design pop up through. And then we're gonna do a fun part. Make sure we get enough ink on there. And we're going to take a paper towel and we're going to rub it into the plate. Now, why would we do this? Well, we wanna make sure that the ink gets into the crevices that we have scratched. And by rubbing the paint or the ink into the plate, you're going to get all the ink in the scratches that we made. You don't need to press very hard. This can be very, very light. Now, after we get enough of the ink in there, we're going to make a print. What you need for that is a little bit heavier paper, which we have in your kit, and you're going to dampen it just a little bit. So I've, go ahead and dampened this already. You can see it's kind of a little wobbly. The reason we dampen the paper is it helps the ink absorb into the paper so that we don't have to apply a lot of pressure. With traditional printmaking, you would want to roll it through a press. Um, since we're doing this at home, we don't have a press, so we can go ahead and use our hands. Um, another fun thing to do is use the back of a spoon, um, or you can also use a, a pan or a wooden spoon but we want to make sure that we are rubbing and pushing the paper onto the plate so that we get the print. Now it's gonna take a couple times for you to get the hang of it and to see how much ink you wanna put on. Um, after you pull your first print, you're gonna see too if you have etched into the plate enough or if for some reason nothing is showing up, we know that we can wash the plate off and go back in and scratch a little deeper to make sure that our print comes out. Okay, so the more you rub, you can see the more that the paper takes shape to your plate, which is your CD. And the more you rub the back of it, you can see if you look really closely, the ink is starting to seep into the paper. You may get a little bit of flex of the paper coming up. That's totally okay. Now, if a lot of the paper is rubbing up, that means that your paper is too damp. 
So you're gonna wanna let it dry more. And you just want it very slightly damp. You don't need it soaking wet. All right, so I think I've rubbed this in enough. So we're gonna pull and start with the corner, go slow because we did push on this a lot. All right. Move our disc out of the way here. So you can see we got some of the etching, but not all of it came through. So what I would do is I would go a little bit deeper into the plate and scratch more. You can see that the disc held a lot of the ink instead of it going into the paper. So I would go back, scratch a little bit deeper into the disc. And then I would also make sure that I wiped off a little bit more of the ink because you can see that it left a lot of texture. For me, I don't really like the texture, so I'd want to get rid of that. So I'd wipe a little bit more of the ink off. And I would also probably press on it more. That's called burnishing, when we push the paper onto the plate. I would burnish it a little bit more so that we can get more detail. The first, the very first print I did for this one, you can tell. We had a lot more detail. I did go back and etch a little bit more, but I did burnish this one a lot more. And then I pulled another where I did not wipe the ink barely at all. So you could see if you don't wipe the ink at all, you're not going to get any of the impression that you scratched into that. So that's a dry point. It's pretty easy and pretty fun. You also have enough items in your kit, which came with your paint, your disc, your paper, um, to do a mono print. So a mono print, uh, mono meaning one, means that you're going to paint on top of your plate and do exactly what we did, press the paper on. We're not going to burnish though, we're just going to press it and release. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave a singular print, so that's what mono print means, one print. Traditionally with printmaking, you would pull several prints off of a, a one piece, but because we're painting on top of something, you're only going to be able to print it once because you won't be able to basically replicate it. So what you can do um, is get a couple different colors. I just have red and black today. And you can use anything to paint on top of this. I have some Q-tips. You're going to get a sponge brush in your kit. Um, if you're at home and you didn't get a kit from the library, you can use whatever you have on hand, paintbrushes, your finger, or whatever. So with mono printing, it's just like printing on, or painting rather, on a normal canvas. You're just going to paint any kind of design you want on the top of your disc. Now I wouldn't make it too thick because what will happen is the detail will be smushed out when you put the paper on top of it. So I'm just going to do some geometric designs, but you can do whatever you want on yours. You know, wherever you paint will show up, wherever you don't paint will be a blank space. And you can do fun things like uh, paint the entire thing with paint and you can wipe away or you can paint on top of it like I just did. So another cool thing, I'll show you what I mean by wipe away. This would be a subtractive process. So I have all my paint here. What I could do is take another Q-tip or my little safety pen and you're just gonna take away from it. So with this, wherever you wipe will be white and wherever there is color will stay. So additive, subtractive process. You can also kind of mix colors next to each other and when we go to press it, they will sort of mix into one another. Do that together there. All right. So again, you're gonna to wanna to take a damp, slightly damp piece of paper. And we're going to lay it over top, just like we did the other one. 
But for this one, we're going to be a little bit more delicate because we don't want to squish necessarily what we've painted. So we're going to do a light tap, maybe one push. This one's a little bit more delicate. The harder you squish, the more chance you'll run of losing the details that you've created on your plate. All right, so I think I squished it enough. We're gonna pull. Generally, I like to do one side, kind of pull down the paper. Right. So you can see this is what came out and this is what was left. Another thing you can do is pull a ghost print. A ghost print is where you have something left over on the plate and you go ahead and press paper on it again and it will create a ghost image of what you just did. So it'll be a little bit lighter, maybe less edges, a little more rough. Those are really fun. Um, but the great thing is you can go ahead and just wipe this off with a paper towel and do it all over again. So you can pull as many prints as you want doing a mono print. There we go. The thing with the etching is whatever you scratch into this is what's going to stay on this plate forever. So there's two different methods. You have two different discs in your kit. If you have um, other discarded CDs or DVDs at home, you can do some more. Uh, but that is mono printing and dry point etching with a disc. I hope you guys had fun. We're going to have way more videos for you next time. Um, thank you for joining me for Art Explorers, and we'll see you at the library. Bye.